we found the gene that causes gray hair. So the question may be, can we turn it off? <laughs> More on that story. It's Wednesday, March 2nd. Another hour of Morning Express starts now. Here's Robin Mee. Okay, good to see you. So Republican presidential candidate Ted Cruz picked up a fourth Super Tuesday side. Hillary Clinton has a commanding lead over Bernie Sanders. So but Marco Rubio continued taking some jabs at Trump last night. Um, is that working or is it confusing his brand? More on that in a few. So we're going to examine debris possibly from missing Malaysia Air Flight 370. Authorities say that a piece of a Boeing 777 has reportedly washed ashore in Mozambique. Now this happened over the weekend and that is the same type of plane that disappeared. It was discovered, this piece, about a thousand miles west of where debris linked to the plane was found last year. The debris is on its way now to Malaysia so they can examine it. A tornado left him Alabama last night. Four people were injured. The FBI admits it made a mistake in how it handled the San Bernardino shooter's iPhone. FBI Director James Comey says that the agency shouldn't have asked investigators to change the phone's password. Well, now, well, new this morning, the Wall Street Journal says that Apple is right. How so? Jen has that for you. That's still to come in this hour. Oh, new after spending nearly a year in space, been born with the birth defect often linked to Zika. So now Brazilian health officials say that they are investigating reports of thousands more babies, possibly with small heads. As doctors try to figure out, are the numbers going up because of Zika or are these past cases that were underreported? All righty, 12 minutes past the hour. Hey, brand new this morning, Royal Caribbean's Anthem of the Seas is now back at port after again having to dodge bad weather and dealing with this wee crab for her twin. No, you're talking about the person that you love. Uh, in the military, and then if you want to leak that video, and maybe it's their picture, then I'll show that on the air as a salute. Oh, good idea, right? So, at Robin Mead or Facebook the show. All right, everybody say hallelujah that there could someday be a cure for gray hair. <laughs> Researchers say they found the gene anyway that controls the color of your hair, and that could lead to a treatment that delays or stops hair from going gray. Now, the same study also found there's another gene that controls whether you get a unibrow. <laughs> Baseball's commissioner suspended a Yankees player. 30 games were talking for an alleged domestic violence incident. But Andy notes the guy was never charged in the case. Good morning. Hey, have you um, noticed the jokes or the one-liners that Marco Rubio has been throwing around for the last few days? Late Late Show host Stephen Colbert noticed and put together some of the memorable ones. Well, Rubio's victory last night in the state of Minnesota was his first primary win. You know, the Wall Street Journal is stepping into the fight between Apple and the FBI over cracking into the iPhone of the San Bernardino shooter. The, can, the paper published its editorial this morning, and money expert Jen says it came down squarely on Apple's side. So right. Neil, he said. Yeah. Uh, a college lacrosse player's biggest victory was off the field as he beat cancer. Our Dr. Sanjay Gupta has his story and what we call the turning point. Good morning, 30 minutes past the hour. All right, so if you hit the snooze button and just now waking up, you're so bested in the headlines. A key hearing for Bill Cosby. His opponents were plotting how they could take them, him down. A group of anti-Trump Republican strategists, we've learned how the conference call yesterday with more than 50 GOP donors and power brokers. And seeing as Jim Acosta notes that the Republican establishment prefers Marco Rubio. Analysts say that Clinton is changing her tactics to bring in Sanders supporters. More on that angle. That's coming up. Um, sports reporter Erin Andrews says that she now rigs her hotel rooms to feel safer. Well, Erin testified for a second day yesterday in her $75 million lawsuit against a Marriott Hotel in Nashville. She says the hotel let a stalker book the room right next to hers. Marriott has said in part that it is committed to its guest safety. That trial, by the way, continues this morning. You can get coverage right here on HLN. You know, new warnings are coming out about the, a toxic waste contamination in Long Island, New York, that officials say could cause cancer. At the now, Ohio school where a 14-year-old allegedly opened fire during lunch. Minority leader Harry Reid says Republicans still will not budge on considering a replacement for the late Justice Antonin Scalia. Toddler fell out of the back of a moving car. This happened in China. His grandfather didn't know it. The child is going to be okay, but do you see the back? But thank goodness that 
poor little tyke is going to be okay. Breaks your heart to see it running after uh, that child running after the car. Christina Aguilera didn't waste any time offering to coach Shayla, featuring uh, what's her name, Shayla Fearing on The Voice last night. Yes, in Partha, Wisconsin, yesterday, and our meteorologist Bob Van Dillon um, answers the question of if it looks better there today for them. Good morning. Um, are your shoes a size ten? Because you can get your hands on some used stuff out of Oprah's closet. I think that's her shoe size. Melissa Knowles has more on that and what the money is going for. Good morning. Good morning, Robin. So more than 250 items. For Tuesday. Police in Worcester, Massachusetts. That was post amazing for them. That was amazing. <laughs> hey, listen, interesting that thousands of people want former President Bill Clinton arrested. Breaking news, a tsunami warning is issued today for the west coast of Indonesia on the island of Sumatra after a 7.9 magnitude quake. Now, it struck earlier today. The experts are calling it large and a shallow quake. And they note that that type of quake can bring a lot of damage. The area that we're talking about here is like 600 miles from the same region devastated by a tsunami in 2004. So obviously, we're going to keep an eye on the story for you throughout the day. Hillary Clinton may be changing her tactics somewhat to try to bring in Bernie Sanders supporters. Well, Republican candidate Ted Cruz says that everybody needs to unite behind him and beat Donald Trump. So that angle and your election cheat sheet, we would like to call it, is coming up. Nine minutes past the hour. No tackling at practice. At least that is what Ivy League football coaches want. So Andy knows that this is a move to minimize head injuries. But I wonder how to affect how they do during the game. Astronaut Scott Kelly, uh, his year-long mission in space, more than 20,000 people have signed a petition demanding that Bill Clinton be arrested. Or wherever it is that you're working, maybe the Sapphire Mine. So what's it like for you this morning? Facebook, Instagram, or tweet a picture or a video. It's kind of like share and share alike. Mornings, we're all together, and no matter what it is that you're up to, um, you know, sometimes you just don't have enough time, but when you do, you can send that and use the hashtag MyMorningExpress. Chick-fil-A invites you to put down your cell phone, and it says if you can get through an entire meal there without it, that it has something free for you. Jen notes what it is. The Seal Team 6 apparently got, an Osa got to Osama bin Laden just in time in Pakistan because he was getting ready to move to a different hideout. That's from a tunnel near San Francisco has just been renamed in honor of the late Robin Williams. Team Dog in Napa, California just set a state record for the largest litter of puppies. Stella is her name. She gave birth to 17 pups.